Hello everyone and welcome to the part 2 in my particles logo reveal tutorial and in this episode I'm going to show you how did I create these fractal noise effects that you see in the final template. So this is what we are going to be creating today and all of these fractals awesome people were created using trap code particular. So this is going to be great again you know learning some really good techniques on how to create nice graphic elements and of course once this is done i'm going to show you how to composite this using some uh, optical flares and some more fx and bringing the whole shot together so this is where we left off in the part one um we're going to continue here i'm going to create a new solid awesome people or actually i'm just going to duplicate one of these because again you know there are some you know simple animation that i have done over here and i wouldn't need to do this again so i'm going to duplicate this and then what i'm going to do awesome people is i'm going to basically uh, go to emitter and you can see also actually awesome people that I was to solo this this is what we are having because I had duplicated the small details layer from part one and we basically want to create fractals right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the velocity from 500 all the way down to zero so we basically are gonna end up with this now because there is no velocity all the particles are sticking together and this is what we are ending up with Okay, this is good. The 3000 particles per second, th this is also what we want to keep. Maybe I want to bring this down to say 2500. That's it. That's all the chain that we want to do. And this is pretty good. Uh, we're going to move on from here. So again, awesome people, if anyone is getting confused, what I did was uh, this much is what I was able to create in my part one. I just duplicated this layer to save me a little bit of time of skipping this much animation. So it's just an opacity fade and particles per second animation. Alright, so again, creating them fractals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to particles now and I'm going to bring down the size from 2.5 all the way down to 0. I'm going to take size random up to 100 and uh, light from emitter, this is good. I'm going to close this awesome people and this time I'm going to go to aux system. This is where all the magic is going to happen for fractals. I'm going to take the emit from off to continuously and 100 is good. The first value is good. The second value though, change this from uh, 10 to 450. So this is going to emit a lot of particles and then go to color over life, uh, actually color from main percentage is going to be to 0%, take it all the way up to 100%. So this is taking colors from the lights that we have made. Change the blend mode from transfer mode um, to add like that and go to opacity. Opacity, we'll bring this from 50 or actually you know what we leave this in the end so I'm going to give you like a small surprise. Uh, let's go to physics air mode only and change the turbulence position. This is the important setting. Change this all the way up to 2500 and boom awesome people you got some crazy crazy um, you know, fractal noise effects. Um, now, also, we will bring down the opacity from 50 all the way down to just 5. And it's going to take a little time to render. And what we'll do is opacity over life, we'll take the second preset like before. So, all those particles that are actually kind of, you know, fading out, they're going to fade out in a nice way. And we only get this effect right here. Boom. So, this was very easy to create. And if I was to remove the solo mark, you can see this composited with them fat particles with those small tiny detail particles and with the whole fractal this thing really really looks good now you can see that this is kind of good but it is still nowhere near my final uh, work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create um an optical flare layer so create or actually you know what i'm going to come to that part a little bit later let's first duplicate our lights to add more particles so instead of duplicating these like this we'll duplicate the lights that we have made. So duplicate this, I'll take a little bit of time to render, bring three and four number up and change their color. So we know that these are the ones that we have duplicated. I'm gonna give it a green. And I'm, all, and I'm also gonna duplicate the null object. So the controller layer, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna take three and four and attach it to the new null layer right here. And now awesome people, if you were to change the settings that we have made here, you're going to end up with some crazy variations. So I'm going to bring down scale from 250 just to 100 and maybe also the rotation. I'll just, I'll make it minus two. So now awesome people, if I was to play this, you're going to see, actually I'm going to remove the motion though, so it renders a little bit faster. 
you're going to see that we're having layers of particle effects now. So this is really, really looking good. And this was done, the variation was done in less than a minute, I would say. So again, a great way to just adjust everything that you have made. And if this is too much for you, maybe you can, you know, bring down the opacity of some particles, maybe do all of that. And this is what I had done with my demo and in my actual template. And now some people to complete the look, let's add in an optical flare OF. Go to video go pilot right there optical flares really a great plugin great great plugin awesome people um and i'm gonna just create a very simple one i'm not gonna go to costume or anything just take these two okay maybe i have to bring down the brightness to 50 scale order down to 50 so we have a small flare and we have a setting over here which says source type from 2d lights to say track lights oh, sorry from 2d to track light so and also awesome people the good thing is that on its default, it's going to take the color from the light. So that actually works for us. I'm going to change the blend mode to add and boom, awesome people. We have this really nice effect. Now, if you're not liking anything, if you think that the yellow is too much and you wanted that fiery orange, then you just have to go to your lights and edit the color over there. And because, you know, we have set up in particles and our optical flares that if we just change anything over here, everything else is going to update. So just click OK, give your After Effects a little time to render and boom, see that? Really, really good. So the variation awesome people in this is very simple. You just go to the controller 02, add some different elements over here. So maybe you can, um, you know, bring down scale from just 50. Maybe you can create another uh, controller layer, create a few more lights, create a third set altogether, like five, six, attach it to 03 controller and bring it down to say 10 and then you know it's gonna come in closer and you can add multiple layers like that this is looking i think great um and in order to complete now awesome people if you're thinking that this is good i, I would say this is good this is pretty good if i was to create say a letter boxing effect letter boxing this would be a final you know an output sort of file but you can create some more effects with this. So this looks pretty good. If you want to stop here, if you're thinking that the machine is taking, you know, that the rendering is taking a lot of time and you want to stop here, you can stop here, but you can take this still to the next level by creating an adjustment layer, going to FX and presets, going to the distort category. This, these awesome people, these are some really good plugins and um, great effects that you can mess around with. And the one that I'm looking for is CC lens, take this, drop it right there and increase the first number size to say a hundred or maybe say 150 and conversions bring it down you can play it a little bit over there and you get a nice 3d-ish sort of effect and what you can do is you can actually increase or actually not not increase but change the blend mode of this guy from normal to say add and you're gonna get a, you know a duplicate of all the particle system that you have created. So this also is a very good way of adding some, again, uh, some variations. Maybe you can change the blend mode to say difference or say um, exclusion, just to create some very nice extreme effects. Um, you can play around with the settings in CC lens and you can add in, of course, hue and saturation, glow effects, see how they work. And also, this is also a great way, um, great, great effect in CC. After Effects CC, it's called CCU Vector Blur. Add this, I'll change this back to say, add, you can bring, and because this is an adjustment layer, you can always bring the opacity down to say 50, if you think this is too much. And you can tweak this to say 50, and you're, you're gonna get a very nice effect in your particle systems. Uh, you can see that this is taking a little time to render now, but if you see over here, this is without Vector Blur, and this is with Vector Blur. So a great way to customize what you have created. My name is TJ Style. This was my part two in my quick particles logo reveal tutorial. My name is TJ Style. Guys, please subscribe, support my channel a little, like this video on YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something today. Please subscribe, like, do all of that. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. You guys take care.